It reminds us all of the catastrophic quake that experts say that could happen any time. Some say we're actually overdue for. I know. Cor Harlan, though, shows us the city of Portland already has resources in place to keep people connected when the big one hits. When the big one hits, the phones won't work and cars can't travel. One of the clearest lines of communication for people will be at one of almost 50 portable communication sites that are spread throughout the city of Portland. One of those sites is at Clatsop Butte City Park in the Pleasant Valley neighborhood of southeast Portland. Behind an old pump house, a shed houses a stainless steel bin containing items that could mean the difference between life and death. I got a look inside of it today. You know, the, the real important part is this, which is the uh, push to talk UHF radio, which has to be quickly assembled. The coordinator of this program tells me in the event of a huge earthquake that knocks out communication and limits travel. This is definitely the most important piece. This handheld radio would be able to establish radio contact with the nearest Portland fire station which would in turn be able to contact Portland's Emergency Coordination Center. The idea is that the surrounding community can come here and use it as a, essentially as a, as a telephone booth to, to us at the city who's coordinating the emergency response. This basic earthquake emergency communications node, known as Beacon, is made up of 48 of these stainless steel chests that are spread out all over the city of Portland. They're housed in mostly public places, like at this building in Lentz Park. There are basic emergency medical supplies, bandages, a cot, and splints to stabilize broken bones. It's the last line of defense in the event of a catastrophic earthquake. The coordinator of the program says the contents of this small cache of supplies could make all the difference for people when the big one finally strikes. In southeast Portland, Cor Harlan, COIN6 News. And you know, the city is looking for volunteers to run these remote sites in the event of a big quake to see where the nearest remote site, the communication outlet is to you, to your home. Check out our website. We've got all the info there, coin.com.